Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a guisado de rajas. What is that? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. A guisado is a stir fry and rajas are little shreds. And this dish is a combination of roasted poblano peppers with a lot of creaminess and cheesy, gooey deliciousness. The best part about this dish is that it's super easy and quick to make. And the best part is that you really can make it comfortable for your home. So whether you choose to add a little bit extra ingredients like I'm going to discuss in the video, or if you just want to make it exactly how I showed you, I'm pretty sure that your family's going to request it again. So let me go ahead and show you how to prepare this. Before we get started on anything, we're going to bring the star of the show and we're going to roast it. We're going to roast these poblanos so beautifully that your family's going to be like, what did you just give me? And you're going to say a whole lot of love. <laughs> okay, friends, so for the rack, um, if you guys want to get a hold of this rack that I'm using, I use it and I purchased it from Amazon. It's um, I have the link in the description area where it has the Amazon storefront. And you guys can find a lot of the things um, from chilies to uh, certain products that I use a lot here on the channel that have seemed to be working for me. So today I'm going to be using this rack and I want to use things that are accessible to you so that we can both cook together. So that's in the, in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roast these, make sure that they're fully charred. Um, so I'm going to keep these here for about four minutes and then I'll show you guys when I flip them uh, to so you guys can see kind of what you're looking for. Okay. Okay, friends, it's been about four minutes, and one thing that I'm noticing with this rack is that they get roasted a lot faster. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them, and you can fit about three really big ones because these are pretty big. Um, you can fit about three of them. The other one I'm roasting over here on the side, but you guys can see how quick that char happened, <laughs> and I like that. Uh, the other thing is that I want to say to you guys is when you first get these, they're pretty flat. So if you see it, um, they're flat like this. So if you see it pick up a little bit, the heat's gonna bend it a little bit, but you're gonna be fine because the same thing happened to um, to the one I got from the Asian market. It was the same thing. One thing that I'm gonna tell you guys is to make sure that you're on your end, you're using it on the back burner, especially if you have kids, because after you're done, you wanna leave it there and just let it cool off completely. Don't run water through it, nothing at all. You wanna be super, super safe. You guys know I have to warn you guys because I am a victim of the kitchen. <laughs> I get people that get so angry when I have band-aids, but I don't, I'm not using gloves, it's extra plastic, and I like using my hands, so I just cover whatever scars I have, and if it's, um, and if it's like any kind of deeper cut, you'll see that I'll, if it's that deep, I'll put one of those little finger condoms, have you seen them? You just little wrap, I'll use that for you guys, okay? But please, please be careful. But yeah, this roast, uh, really quick, so I'm just gonna finish roasting these, and I'll, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do once they're done roasting, okay? Once you see that they're roasting, some of them are going to roast a lot faster. Like if they have a lot of grooves, it's going to take a little bit more time. But if they're pretty flat, they're going to roast evenly and quickly. So once you see your pepper looks like this, you're ready to put it to the side. You can put it in a plastic bag. You guys have seen me do that. Um, but for today, I'm trying to get wean off of plastic. So I'm going to put it in a cloth just so that it can steam. Because that's kind of what you want to do. You want to allow it to steam about 5-10 minutes or so just so that it's easier for you to peel, um, peel the chili on the outside. It smells like carne asada in here. It smells so good. So I'm just going to continue to wait for these to roast just like that one. And then I'm going to put them in my, um, in my cloth. And I'll see you guys in just a moment when I have to clean these up. Okay, now that I've shown you how to roast them, because I know you guys are always asking me, how do you roast them? And I feel like I show it often. That's why we're going to take it a little bit slow for you today. So I've already put my, um, my poblano, my roasted peppers. Uh, in a nice cloth like this. I'll link this cloth because I'm loving these cloths. I, I definitely have been using them a lot more often and I have been keeping off plastic. So in order to help that steam still stay in there, I do have a bag. Yes, I'm human. <laughs> so I just wrapped it around like this and now we're ready to peel these cheetahs. Okay. Ooh, it's like a little nice warm steam bath in there. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Can you see that steam? Mm -hmm. It's so wonderful. So let me move up to the side so that I can show you how to clean one and then we'll go from there. They're very easy once you roast them and I really like this little um, this little grill thing because I'll tell you what, most of my peppers are not overdone. So you can use a spoon 
You can use a paper towel, whatever you're comfortable with. And if someone um, doesn't like these peppers, I don't know. I don't, I've never met anybody that doesn't like poblanos. How about you guys? They're just so wonderful and sweet and they make me comfortable. Okay. They're soft enough to that even a spoon can slice them open like this. But be careful because they're still really hot for me here. And I don't want you guys to burn yourself. The steam gets very hot, so be careful. I repeat, be careful. <laughs> Once you do that, I, do, I just think that the spoon definitely makes it a lot easier if you're going this route. If you wanna save this time and rinse them, you can. There is definitely a battle out there. Like, don't wash your chiles. You're taking all the flavor, yes. But it's a lot faster. Well, you don't take away all the flavor. I mean, my food has a lot of flavor and I tend to do that often. It's not traditional. Well, nothing really is anymore, is it? So I'm just gonna keep cleaning all these little peppers and I'll see you in just a moment while we begin to slice them, okay? Give me a little smile. Hey, <laughs> I got in the zone. Like that, when you guys don't see my face, I'm in the zone. Now that we've roasted and peeled our lovely poblanos, now I'm going to show you what rajas are, like what that really means. And what rajas means is slices. So we're about to slice it up, not chop, slice it up. So get in close, get in closer so that I can show you. And I just cannot hide it. Finally, you. No, okay. no, 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 no. No? I was really getting that one. You get me every time, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, friends, if you're here for knife skills, I don't have those for you, but I can show you how to cut it up homemade style, okay? So be careful, tuck your little fingers in because I don't want your little nuggets to be chopped, just like I don't want mine to be chopped. So you're gonna slice these as thin as you want. I like mine a little bit thicker, but if you have a lot of family and this goes by really fast, you might wanna cut it a little bit thinner, okay? Just like that. So that one's already sliced. Slice, a slice. That's what my mom would say, a slice. Mm -hmm. So, and these are so soft that you go through them real fast. Uh, one of the things that I do want to share with you guys is that if you don't have poblanos in your area, try it with the green bell pepper. Try it, I'll tell you what. I'm going more traditional today for you guys because I'm trying to impress you. But I really like, um, at least one Anaheim in here. It really magnifies the, the flavor profile and it just makes me feel super special. So if they're too long, you can cut them halfway like this or you can keep them in long strips. Okay. And since I didn't pre-cut my onions, you guys are gonna help me pre-cut my onions. Who wants to help me? Quién me va a ayudar? Oh, Cloud. Not me. <laughs> Not you, Cloud. <laughs> okay. This is actually very therapeutic and calming. If you guys haven't sliced these type of chiles before, I don't know. I, I like the kitchen. Probably the knife, the gadgets. This smell reminds me of growing up being at the supermarket where they're roasting the hatch chilies. Out yes, there. outside. Yeah. And especially, you know what I like those during uh, winter time because they really smelled good. And you'd be fooled. You'd be surprised how spicy they are. Yes. I always, it always reminds me like because in our house we used to um, roast the chilies outside. Mm -hmm. And then um, what comes after? A nice, thin, super thin slice of carne asada. We used to roll and roast them and slice them on the premise. Yes. I have to find a picture of... <laughs> Of, me of being, our farming days and la milpa. See, like me, super me super Mexican, guys. I am as Mexican as you can get them here in the United States. <laughs> Thanks to my mother for that. Um, but yeah, I'll try to find that picture and share it with you guys one of these days. But yeah, it reminds me of that in the carne asada. And you know how when you grill that meat on the on the carbon the and it has, yeah, the mesquite, and then you have uh, a little bit of the fattiness from the meat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
It gets crispy. It's like a little beef chicharron. And I yeah. love beef chicharrones. Good Lord. Now tell me, who is a better... Well, who's better at the grill? You or your man, girl? <laughs> well, I hope he's not watching right now. But I love when he watches. Um... Querida. Cada momento de ma vida. I'm gonna have to say me, and he's gonna say that he is because you know he gets that Texas grill going. But we might have to do a challenge because I could throw down on that grill. Yeah, you get a little I crazy really now with your charcoal, like you get in the zone. And it's because the charcoal has to be just right, and people either put it too soon. And the thing is that I, I like getting a cut and putting it straight on the charcoal. That flavor. Ooh, carne asada al carbón. Hasta le canta al like, carbón esta. Yes, like, <laughs> I'm out there, I engage, my kids know that they need to stay away a little bit and just observe mom on that girl. <laughs> window. Oh. Yeah. Let me get a uh, cebolla. Okay. Move that to the side. I'm just going to use about a fourth of a large one. I like sliding the onions in here. <laughs> sliding them into where the kids don't even realize it. That's right. My coffee just kicked in. What? Oh no. Yeah. You like that cafe de olla I made you, girl? Yes, girl. You make the best cafe de olla. <laughs> You too, mom. You know what? That's a that's the thing people don't understand. When you make cafe de olla, it's because you gotta make it with a whole lot of love. That's right. So for um, this particular onion, I'm gonna slice it super thin because I want it to kind of get lost in love. Do all the things. No, girl. And I was thinking, isn't it baby bash? I want to get lost in love with you. Okay, and do all that. the things you want I was me thinking to. more of Beyonce. Girl, you know Beyonce is goals. So yeah, don't play. She is. That Beautiful. is a true hero. Now that we, ya que rajamos, we already sliced this up. We're going to go ahead and head over to the pan so that we can continue this cooking process in peace, okay? I'm going to be calm, I promise. Straight to the point. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to add a little bit of oil, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you don't want to go over too much on your oil because the things that we're going to be adding here have a lot of fat content, okay? Add your onion. And you probably see one of my poblano little flakes there. It's fine. You'll survive that, I promise. It's a lot of more flavor. What we want to do is we want these onions to turn a little translucent before we add our next uh, ingredient. There's always those simple dishes that really transform a home, you know? Yes. And I'm not going to get started with my pobrecita story. No. <laughs> my pobrecita means like poor stories, the poor chronicles. And it's interesting because I've had like really fancy food and I always gravitate towards my poor chronicles. <laughs> what about you sis? Yeah, like when I go out to client dinners and we've even been to some like Michelin star restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's not that I feel uncomfortable. I mean, I'm happy to enjoy like such art. But as soon as I'm done, like I want to go eat some tacos or like something. I come home and I'll make something, you know, it's it's an experience. It really is. You know yeah. who's like that too? Well, Robert. <laughs> we, I'm like, babe, I want to go try this restaurant and whatever. And then he's like, can we go get pizza now? The only nice restaurant that did, didn't give me those feels was Jaleo. Yes. I was satiated. I was in love with the food there. The ambiance, it was just amazing. You can tell the chefs there cook the food with love. Everybody there cooks their food with love. Absolutely. I, I, the good thing about that place is that like, if you go during, um, before like the, the prime time, you go to the bar, you can order a few tapas there and have like such a delicious drink. Yes. And if you guys like to walk around and have a drink, you can order your drink there. It is about $20 for that juniper gin uh, cocktail. I can't remember the name of it, but if you guys are ever at Haleo, it's, it has juniper in it. It has gin. Yeah, it's a gin and tonic, but with the, um, it's a sphere that they use, ice sphere, mm -hmm. for the, to like everything that you drink is cold, same temperature. Yeah, it really is. And I think because my favorite gin is Hendrix gin. Uh huh. Oh, it never gives you a headache the next day. So good. Um, on that note, guys, I know you guys have been asking me, you know, I'm a, I used to bartend. So you guys have been asking me for drinks. If that's something that you guys want to do, please let me know in the comments. I would love to do like a late night um, cocktail <laughs> type thing with you guys. So, but I also want to keep it PG for the children. So you guys let me know if you guys want more of that night nightcap. Okay. 
So now that our onions have gone translucent, that's been about three or four minutes of you hearing me talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you can go ahead and add your poblanos. And thank you to all of you that enjoy my accent. I really do love my accent. That's what makes me me. Um, I am a little bit chaotic with my words, but hey, try translating so many things in your head um, in different ways. I do have a child that's on the spectrum, so I also have to change my wording for him. And then I have to understand somewhat of what the Korean novelas are telling me. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all the people in Louisiana. Hey. Woo! Hey. Hey. Mardi Gras. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't want to see me at Mardi Gras. You guys, are you, are you guys seriously inviting me? You're going to show me the town? Ah, I'm going to be so excited. Just know that wherever I go, my babies go. And me too. <laughs> and Claude and my whole family, Let we're stuck together. <laughs> yeah, good thing you work from home, girl. I know, but when I have to travel and stuff, so. I know, those are hard. Those are hard. It's coming up to that quarter where you. Yeah, I oh. don't like that. Ah. I know, last time when you um, left for work, they're like, where's Cloud? Trabajando. No, but that time you left for leisure. You Let's just be clear. It. Let's be clear. You left for leisure on that one. I clear my entire schedule to be here at the same hour every day with you. This one right here. Te agarré. ¿Qué estás buscando? I'm right behind you. Don't judge me for this cabinet. <laughs> Don't. I'm working on it. I mean, I got, I got one working on it. But yeah, we have a variety of things. It's like, I really should reorganize it, guys. I'm not the only one that eats here. My mother loves Crystal Light. Um, I do sometimes Lechera, the goober that I'm always talking about. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, girl. You, got, you know what? You're just like the club. They're going to thank you for that one. Okay, friends, this is my favorite crema to use, especially when I don't have heavy whipping cream, fresh crema. Um, this one doesn't expire <laughs> for a long time, and the flavor in here is just, you can make it sweet or savory, and it's gonna change and transform your life. So this is what we're gonna be using for our rajas today. You guys ready for it? Si, sí, no te me rajes. No te me rajes. Let me, let me crack it open. Oh, this one's being a little bit tough. Te ayudo. A ver, ayúdame, mija. That one's being a little tough. You have to loosen it up. Not that I've had... No, 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 not that one. You gotta pull it back. Girl, oh, it's have... like a can of sardines. Girl, Why are we always talking about you... sardines? I don't even eat sardines. <laughs> no, you should. Okay, friends. <laughs> Before we start with our shenanigans and get off track, go ahead and add your, um, your can of crema Nestlé. That's how you're gonna ask for this if you go to a Mexican store. No tienen crema Nestlé. Crema Nestlé. We don't even say Nestlé. Nestlé. Nestlé, because they're not gonna understand. It's like you say Walmart, what? They have it at the Walmart, if you're looking Yeah, at. they have it at the Walmart in most stores, actually. Or the Amazon storefront. Yep, Amazon storefront, we got you hooked up. Thank you, Claude, for helping me with that. I appreciate it, sis. You got it. Okay, so once, with this type of cream, you wanna make sure that you add butter if you're doing it savory. And that's exactly what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of butter, okay? I like how you went a little bit traditional with this recipe and not our mother's recipe. Don't get me started. My mom's recipe, you guys, I love her. Mom, I hope you're not watching this. She's um, not, she's in Mexico. How could she be watching this? <laughs> I don't know, she might get inspired, Claude, check <laughs> in on me. Um, but my mom makes this with evaporated milk and then she gets really nasty with it because she even blends the, pe the beans to like a puree, just like runny. And she mixes it all together and she's like, Pues así me gustan a mí. I'm like, I can't eat that. Because she tries, Mira, les hice rajas. We're like, that's not rajas. Pero no se murieron de hambre. Her famous saying. <laughs> it really. Anytime we complain, she's like, But you guys didn't starve to death, did you? That is, that is her famous saying. Mama, can you hand me the pepper right there, please? Yes. You guys, if you can't get a hold of that cream, don't worry, it's not a traditional way of making it, but I really like the flavor that it gives for rajas. And especially if you're gonna put this over rice um, or your tacos, whatever you're gonna do, it gives it a really good flavor. So when you add that, I like to add a little bit of pepper. What are your recommendations if you wanna make this a bit meatier to add? Can you, cause I once had it with- um, Con pollo. Con no, con hongos, with mushrooms. Yeah, you can add mushrooms if you want more of a meatier, a complete dish where you just put it over your rice. Yeah. Um, you know what really tastes good with this? Mm -hmm. Shrimp. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get some shrimp, put them in here, it tastes so good. Chicken, and you can even add corn, okay? Some areas, um, some regions really love corn, but I wanna keep this a little basic for you so you guys can really get inspired and get make it comfortable for your home. 
So, but yeah, just, I mean, you can make it how my mom made it, all nasty and stuff, but <laughs> I love you, mom. So once this has warmed up your sauce, that's when you want to add your cheese, okay? So like I mentioned, if you don't have the crema nesle, if you guys are vegan, you can use your dairy cream for this particular part. Okay, well non-dairy cream, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But you can use the heavy whipping cream, you can use half and half, you can use the regular um, uh, little container of crema fresca, those things. Now if you're gonna do it with the French creme fraiche, watch out, because I don't know if it's gonna come out. That stuff is good though. Huh? But I don't know if I'm here. One. No, 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 girl. Okay, so I'm gonna be using, today I'm using queso Oaxaca. Because I managed to get a, I've been missing a lot of ingredients at my store. I don't know what's going on. No, what this vehicle. I kind of have an idea, but. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to use as much cheese as you want. So I think I'm gonna go between half a cup to, um, to about three fourths of shredded Oaxaca. And the other cup is for her to snack on. Te me calmas. <laughs> it down okay a poco no you ate like a brick of cheese when you were pregnant from cutie you know what i catch so... you behind the refrigerator eating bricks of cheese well and he loves cheese now too <laughs> you were pretty healthy with him weren't you like well wait, wait were you vegetarian or vegan at the um time? when i when i uh was pregnant with him i had a lot of green juice oh okay okay, okay. and then after i had him i that's when i went vegan so when he was nursing i was uh -huh. already vegan at that time oh and he has green juice almost every day he loves it yeah he re he'll chug he the green it. green juice by you all has to have a little bit of sweetness but the other little guy not so much the only thing the little kid doesn't <laughs> drink that i mean the little kid is <laughs> Simos, he hates it when I make him a smoothie with it. He's yeah. like, no, that's, yeah, that a, that's like swamp water, Mimo. I'm not drinking it. <laughs> Girl, you get me with the Simos. Okay, friends, so that cheese melts quick. I don't want you to be discouraged just because you see that Oaxaca cheese and you can't find it at your store. Mozzarella works really good here for that meltiness. But even if you have like a cheddar or a Mexican shredded blend, you can add it to this portion. You can add like some frozen corn. You can add whatever you like, and I love it. I love when you guys make it comfortable for your home. So this is set right here. I'm gonna warm up some tortillas because I'm gonna taste this with some tortillas right now. So Sounds good. I'll see you in a moment, guys. Okay, friends, you guys already know my cooking and if you guys like my home cooking, you know I'm gonna give you some sprinkles of chicken bouillon instead of salt. Bouillon. Bouillon, bouillon. Just sprinkle a little bit to taste that I'm gonna put the amount that I recommend for you guys in the description area. But if it says secret ingredient, you know which one it was. Repeat after me in English, okay? Bouillon. No, mama. In English. <laughs> no, mija, coffee and donuts. That's all I can say, okay? I love that movie. That me too. Movie. Do coffee and donuts right now. Ooh, con tu cafecito. Well, we're gonna be drinking that coffee all day, so if you guys see us pumped up tomorrow or worn out, it could be one or the other. Sorry for the shaking. Sorry guys, sorry. We're here for you, we listen to you, and we adapt our next video based on your guys' feedback. So thank you guys so much for all the lovely comments. Yes. We're bringing it for you. Whatever you want, I got it. Woo! A ver unas tortillitas ahora. Okay. Okay friends, I'm gonna warm up my tortillas real quick, but I wanna let you guys know that today I'm using Tortillas Guerrero and to see what how they hold up because you guys always ask me about store brands and I, I am very spoiled. And if you guys like this little burner, I like it because you're gonna be able to put those little creases on it. The grill marks. Make it even more comfortable for your home. Okay. This is gonna be comfortable for my stomach. I know, I'm already salivating because I know how good that crema nesle is. Yep, I wore stretchy pants so we can work out after. Girl, I wore my stretchy jeans. Mm -hmm. So we can't. Girl, I'm gonna taste this right now. I'm just gonna give you guys a small tasting because I gotta work out before I can indulge. <laughs> I'm almost done with my agua fresca too. Shout out to my brother-in-law for letting me kick it here all the time and not separating me and my sister. Yeah, We're you not know twins, what? But we are. Yeah, you know what? I love him for that. He doesn't ever get jealous of us hanging out. Like he he lets us do our thing. He's really good with like all the boys in the family and my niece. Shout out to the Grizzly. And the Grizzly can take it, man. We make fun of him like for hours you on end. You know what? I think he really likes coming out, but sometimes he gets uncomfortable because he gets a lot of harassment. Like 
DMs and stuff. So oh, he, yeah. he makes him uncomfortable because you know how he's a family kind of guy. Didn't he? He was telling me that he had someone ask him like where what he worked, what he did for a living, like all kinds of craziness. Yeah, I think some people get too comfortable because he kind of opened up his uh, his IG and then people were disrespecting like our marriage at that point. And he he's not about that, guys. He really just goes to work, works for his family, and that's it. You know? And he tells my sister and me everything, everything. <laughs> so we know Cochina. But you know what? The the th the feeling and is mutual. Cochinos. There was yes. a Cochino in his DM. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He likes me. <laughs> He's in love. <laughs> he picked me. Yeah. Poor guy. He does so much for us. I love him. Yeah, he's a cool dude. All right, guys. We're almost ready with our tortillas. Let's go taste this. Yeah. Yes. Yo quiero veinte. 20. Que ocurrente, Claudia. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You know what? I ran out of my purple um, pickled onions and that would be so good with the taco. No, you didn't. I did, last night. Whoa, girl. Cause you can just eat those like a snack. So let's give this a good, delicious, creamy. Don't you like how I know what's in your refrigerator? I love that you know what's <laughs> in my refrigerator because whenever I need something, she'll be like, Steph, I brought you something, you were out. And to me, I don't know, the family is like, Family makes me so happy. Like, that's the most important. I really do mean it. So, thank you for bringing that stuff, sis. Love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> girl. Here, wash it down, girl. Wash it down. I am. I need to clean myself up. Here. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm telling you guys that crema. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's just plain Jamaica agua fresca, no sugar. You guys want to trim your belly like I have been? This one and the cucumber one, you guys are set. Um, if you guys want me to do another video for the cucumber and my top weight loss agua frescas, please let me know because I'm still getting a lot of questions for more tacos and more agua fresca information but you revamped that cucumber water it's perfect i find it that it's sweeter now that with the well i don't recipe without sugar i don't know because the way that you revamped that recipe with your other ingredient like that's pretty much the one that i make and then the one that you make is my favorite but aquí estoy comiendo metro taco no mm. i brought some cash to tip you Ojalá. <laughs> mm. This is epic. All right, guys, we gotta go because we're gonna eat two tacos mm -hmm. each. Yes. All right, friends, that's how I prepare our guisado de rajas. If you guys like how I'm giving you your recipes and you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. I do upload daily and I want to let you guys know you can expect a video from me about 4 to 4.30 because you never know with the YouTube feeds how it works. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of us that really get stuck when it's time to upload, but that's the time that you guys can expect me so that we can sit down and hang out together. So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Adios!